team i hope you're all well today is monday is the start of another reading vlog and um it's the evening now so it is currently 10 past 10 um very very tired i've been at my parents this morning and then this afternoon i went out with my sister-in-law and our friend charlotte and her son louis we went to the Trafford Centre, I needed to get my friend um, some birthday presents and we needed to do some Christmas shopping. So we went there, it was really nice, they got all the decorations up, Louis had a blast, um, he loved all the lights, he's nine months old and he's absolutely gorgeous, love him so much. Um, so yeah, it was really nice, it was good to spend some time with the girls and just chill out and not consciously worry about anything i'm struggling a lot with trying to um not worry it's something i'm working on but it's really really difficult to just switch off and stop your mind from overthinking and worrying about things that honestly you can't really change but you're worrying anyway um so yeah it was nice obviously with it being monday afternoon everyone's in work it's not that close to christmas so everyone's in work and it was nice for it not to be too busy i remember the last time i went to the traffic center it was absolutely rammed and panic just almost completely took over me so it was nice for it not to be too busy i managed to get um a few bits of clothes i saw my friend out with some birthday presents my other friend out with some birthday presents and yeah i got myself a couple of bath bombs and stuff so that was cool um i've just watched uh let it snow on netflix i look horrific i'm so tired i've just watched let it snow on netflix it was really really good last night i watched um christmas wedding planner something ridiculous like that and it was uh you know like your standard hallmark christmas movie um but it was a netflix one and I just i don't get me wrong i love cheesy massively cheesy hallmark christmas movies i'm obsessed with them but this one was just it got to a point where i was cringing and i was like i can't believe i've just wasted an hour and 45 minutes watching this so yeah um let it snow is a good one though i have been looking up the book for it by john green so i might check that out soon i'm not sure but my plans for reading oh okay so i wanted to tell you about my presents today for my brother and my sister-in-law as well i took it to my mum and dad's with me because my sister-in-law was there my brother was there so i opened it with them i don't get to see much of my sister-in-law so it was nice to open one of the presents with her and she said today was a special one so and she was correct it is a jar and it is filled with sticky notes and on the sticky notes there are you know like daily affirmations or inspirational quotes things like that that my sister-in-law thinks are really going to help me um on the top she's just put a little thing that says um always remember and then inside you can open them up and um just see what one of them might say i'm just going to grab one from the bottom because I, I i open most of the top ones to see what they might say uh, one of them was really really funny actually but uh yeah this one is uh you don't always need a plan sometimes you just need to breathe trust let go and see what happens so yeah just little things like that which i think are going to be really really nice for me and helpful if i'm have really really struggling one day i can open that up and pick one out maybe it'll help me i don't know we'll see but it's just such a gorgeous thoughtful gift i'm so so thankful to them both um, these presents are amazing so I'm really really happy with those um, so let me tell you what I'm planning on reading this week I have started a reread of A Curse So Dark and Lonely uh, the reason I'm rereading this is because one I haven't been able to stop thinking about this since I read it earlier on this year uh, two A Heart So Face and Broken comes out on the 7th of January and I'm ha I cannot fucking wait um, and three Bloomsbury um Bloomsbury Kids are hosting a read-along uh, over the next three weeks for this book. So I've tabbed it up and I've worked out that if I read 25 pages a day, I should get it finished over the next three weeks. So that's cool. So I can read more if I want to or less if I want to. So I started reading this at just around midnight last night. Um, so obviously I'm 25 pages in. I'm here. Uh, and yeah, 
um, I've fallen in love with it just as much as I have the first time around. Probably a lot quicker to be honest because I know the story. Although after saying that, I know 100% that I completely love this book and it's probably my favourite book of the year. But I don't fully remember what has happened. I, I'm obviously, I read a lot. I don't know if this happens to other readers that read a lot, but or just other readers in general you read a book you absolutely adore it you know you still adore it months on but you're not 100 percent certain on what happened in the book and um, this happens to me often so uh, i do like to reread some of my favorite books i'm obsessed with doing it so really really happy i've started rereading this so obviously i'm planning on continuing reading this this week but i won't get it finished unless of course i just go off on a complete tangent and just smash it in it's a possibility <laughs> we'll see uh, i'd really like to finish midnight at the electric finally by jody lynn anderson um i am on page what page am i on i'm on page 100 i'm here and i've been on page 100 now for about two or three weeks so i'd really like to finish this my aim is to just try and get through some books this week that i've been meaning to finish uh, i managed to get through two on sunday so it would be really nice to just get through some books that i've been meaning to finish so i'd really like to finish midnight at the electric if at all possible this week i'd also really like to make some more moves on hollywood wants to kill you this book is driving me insane not in a bad way i'm really loving it there's no way i'm dnfing it i just want to get to the end i'm on page one nine and I haven't got left long left to go in fact I think I've got less than 100 pages uh, I just need to do it I have got less than 100 pages I just need to get through it it's just very scientific it's quite heavy so we'll see maybe I'll get through another chapter or so on that and then um I'm also going to start the audiobook for Wondersmith tomorrow. The book's downstairs in my bag or in the car or at my mum and dad's. I don't know where the hell it is. I've got it somewhere. I'm going to start the audiobook for Wondersmith tomorrow. I might even get... I'm too tired to actually pick something up tonight. I'm so, so tired. I didn't realise how tired I was till I sat down to start recording. And I can see how tired I am. Um... So I might start listening to it in bed. I might just lie in bed and listen to that for a half hour to an hour before I go to sleep. Uh, and I also want to read um, Best Bear in All the World. Is that what it's called? The Winnie the Pooh book that I've got. So I want to read that this week as well. On top of that, I've got obviously big goals this week because, you know, it's me. Uh, on top of that, on Wednesday, um, Gav has planned a Disney day. Um, I have plans unfortunately to be at my mum and dad's all day on Wednesday apart from in the evening so um, my plans will not be to sit at home and read all day however which would be really really nice obviously uh, however I do have some books that I am planning on picking up throughout the day I can read like on my lunch or when I get home or whatever so with the books that I've got that I'm planning on reading I may watch Frozen or Beauty and the Beast I haven't seen Frozen in ages might even watch Frozen tomorrow night and just start my Disney day early maybe we'll see but the books that I've got are Belle's Library this is a collection of literary quotes and inspirational musings um so that's really, really cute so obviously from beauty and the beast and we have got you know i've forgotten what these people are called <laughs> but we've got the cogsworth i've remembered cogsworth that's great and mrs Potts, and also i've forgotten his name but we've got them around and in here is really really pretty there's like a forward bit and then um, there's some bits by William Shakespeare in here. I had no idea. Anthony and Cleopatra. Uh, there's just like little quotes and stuff and they're illustrated and it's just really, really cute. So yeah, there's that that I can read. I also have um, Aladdin, Disney animated classics book. These books are absolutely stunning. Look at that. So gorgeous. Um, so these are illustrated very very cute i'm so excited to read this um and it's got a little bookmark as well which is really cute and i cannot wait to read that so i've got aladdin i've also got uh sleeping beauty 
and I've also got the Little Mermaid. And then on top of that, I also managed to get my hands on Frozen, which I know is Gav's favourite. Um, so yeah, I couldn't not get it really. So I am planning on reading the, watching the film as well, which would be really cool as an update before Frozen 2 comes out, which I think, is it the 15th of November? Or is it later than that? Might be the end of November. This is the inside of The Little Mermaid. I thought she was more red-headed than that. Um, and the inside of Sleeping Beauty looks like this. These covers are absolutely stunning. So yeah, those are plans for Wednesday's Disney Day, which I might start early tomorrow. We'll see. I've obviously got a lot of plans. Um, I'm a bit of a state today because... <laughs> louis has been pulling my hair all day. He's got this obsession with tugging on people's hair. So my hair's like all over the show. But yeah, he's adorable. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now, I think, and possibly start Wondersmith. I'm so tired. Did you know that or not? Because I don't think I've mentioned it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Really exhaust, really was well, uh, really exhausted. Had such a lovely day with the girls, but uh, it's taking its toll now. I'm very, very tired, so I'm gonna go to bed and listen to uh, my book. I think because I can't, there's just not one of these that I actually physically want to pick up right now. I'm too tired. I would really, really, really love to pick this up right now, but I'm just not gonna be able to concentrate. I already know it. Might pick a Disney one up. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to. Right, I'm going to go. Bye. Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, I'm very, very tired today. It's not been a good day today. Really, really tired. This is horrendous lighting. I look like a ghost. Um, it's obvious, it's like quarter to four, so the sun's going down, which is why the lighting's quite bad. Actually, I don't, I kind of don't mind it, but whatever. Um, a couple, we've got a couple bits of posts. I've got a parcel and then I have got paper gang as well to unbox for you. So we'll go through those and then I'll tell you about what I've been reading. I'm fairly certain I know what book this is, to be fair. Um, can't remember the title of it off the top of my head, but if I'm correct, I've won this off, um, first reader's choice first readers i've forgotten the title of it i think this is correct so i've got uh how to play dead by jacqueline ward um and on the back it says she's watching over them and he's watching her Rhea taylor is everything to everyone wife and mother the center of her family and the manager of a refugee for women whose partners have driven them out of their homes but one night with her husband away Rhea receives a terrifyingly sinister message someone is watching her someone who seems to know everything about her she knows what she should do seek help just like she tells her clients to but Rhea is the help. As uh, events escalate and terror takes hold, Rhea must decide whether to run or hide. Ooh, I remember reviewing this now. Um, this sounds really, really good. Might have to put that on my December TBR. So yeah, I think this comes out at the end of November if I'm correct, I'm not sure. But uh, that's a winner. And then let's check out Paper Gang before I tell you what I'm planning on reading today oh i'm absolutely loving the front of this how gorgeous is that stunning very very pretty indeed i'm hoping i can keep it intact because i'd like to take a picture of that it's really really pretty um can i get this out of here oh yeah i forgot the tape at the bottom as well there we go so ah. Oh inside there's a little merry christmas or whatever thing and in this it tells you everything uh oh it's just a magazine to tell you what's selling christmasy wise 
Um, so they've got cards and they've got decorations for your tree and then gifts as well. Really, really nice little catalogue. So that's cute. We have um, some washi tape, which is in like the colour gold. Very, very nice metallic gold washi tape. And then in our wrapped upness, we've got some wrapping paper. Cute. I like it. Very cute wrapping paper indeed. Um, we also have a notepad. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Is this going to focus? It's like a green colour almost like a mint green colour but obviously there's like trees and stuff at the bottom and there is a play a pace a play a, oh my god there's a place for to do notes and doodles so if you were a doodler that's super cute actually um we have obviously the monthly calendar i don't know that to start sticking these in my bullet journal actually i'm not sure then we've got some, oh, they've got some notes, some tags for your cards. Yep, presents even. They are so cute. <laughs> There's Be Merry, Be Jolly and Be Cozy. Oh, we've got a set of Christmas cards, which are not all the same. So we've got Santa skiing with his Christmas tree on his back. Uh, we have a... We've got a seal with a hat on its head and some presents. And then we have a little house. And these match the uh, tags that we got as well. There is obviously the magazine that tells us everything that we get inside, which is cute. And then finally, we've got a little coaster that says stay cozy. That's really, really cute. I love the design of this box this month, actually. So nice some cute little things going on in there um that's adorable really happy with that love the little magazine as well nice little touch to tell them exactly what they've got that they're selling over the christmas period for gifts etc so that's cool um i have to say i got these scissors out of a paper gang box a couple months ago and i've not stopped using them since i got them so uh cheers paper gang they're really useful <laughs> Um, so let me tell you what I'm planning on reading now. That was a really good box from Paper Gang, actually. Uh, if you didn't know, Paper Gang are a stationery company that um, do a monthly box uh, for I think it's ten pound a month. I can't remember. Plus postage and packaging. I'm fairly certain it's about ten pound a month. Plus postage and packaging. Really, really good stationery. I've got some really useful things out of it. Um, so yeah, really happy with how that's going at the moment. I've been getting stuff from them for a few months now, so that's good. Um, so reading wise, I started Wondersmith this afternoon at my dad's um, while I was listening to it. I got to page 37, so I'm not that far in. I think I'm only an hour and a bit into the audiobook. But I'm enjoying it so far. It's good. Um, my plans for the rest of the day now, that's all I've read so far today. So my plans for the rest of the day now are I'm going to pick up uh, The Best Bear in All the World because it's about time I read this now and it won't take me long to get through. So that would be cool, Winnie the Pooh. Um, then I need to read my 25 pages for A Curse So Dark and Lonely today, get myself up to page 50, I think. So um, that'll be good as well, read those pages. And then I'm gonna pick up, I think I'm gonna pick up Frozen, which you can't see this because of the lighting whatever i think i want to pick up frozen and i might pick up aladdin as well and then watch frozen so i don't need to watch aladdin because i've seen both of them the um new one and the original very very recently so i don't need to watch aladdin because i've seen it recently but i've not seen frozen in honestly in ages the last time i saw frozen my brother lived here so that was like four years ago and um we used to sing it to each other across our bedrooms. So my sister-in-law would be asleep or she wasn't staying over and Matt would play it in his room and he would be uh, singing it at the top of his voice and I, we would text each other the lyrics. It was so funny. Um, but yeah, we love Frozen. So I haven't seen that in ages. So I think I'm going to watch that tonight, which will be really cool and get myself in the mood for Disney Day tomorrow. Uh, I won't be able to read much during the day because um, I'm going to be at my parents all day. So... 
I'll read a little bit in the afternoon. So I've saved uh, Belle's Library, Sleeping Beauty and The Little Mermaid for tomorrow night. And then I'll watch um, maybe Beauty and the Beast, the new one, because I really, really love that one. And I might watch maybe The Little Mermaid. I've not seen that in ages. So I don't know. We'll see tomorrow what I decide to watch. So getting my Beauty and Beast fixed today and then we'll get um aladdin and frozen uh, do you know what i don't know if one of the poo is ever class i don't know if one of the poo is classified i know it's not disney based but when they've done the films i don't know if that's disney i'm not sure i don't know but we're going to get some of this in anyway so that'll be cool um i'll be able to finish like three books which will be awesome if i could do that today so i'm going to go down and do that now all i can smell is um this candy cane bath bomb it smells amazing not only that but i sprayed myself a little bit last night with the um with the what's the really really nice one snow fairy and i could still faintly smell it even though i've tried to wash it off i can still smell it on me um so yeah i'm gonna go down and read for a little bit and watch some disney films i think because i just feel a bit shit to be honest i'm hoping i get through some reading without putting them down and thinking no I just want TV that seems to be my consensus at the moment which is really ir irritating because there's loads of great books I really want to read and I'm just not picking them up so we'll see I'm going to take this down and have I might make myself a tea actually I've not had tea in ages so yeah that's what I'm going to go and do and um I shall check back in with you later bye for now Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today's Wednesday, I just got home from my parents um, and I just wanted to very quickly let you know what my plan is. So last night I read Aladdin, Frozen and Winnie the Pooh. I also watched Frozen as well, so that was cool. It was really nice nostalgia. I've not seen Frozen in ages, so that was really, really nice. And then let me just get comfy because my thing's upstairs, my tripod, and I can't be bothered going and getting it. Um, is that going to sit? That would be cool if it could. Yeah, so uh, I read those yesterday. So tonight I'm planning on reading Sleeping Beauty, um, The Little Mermaid and also Belle's Library because today is Disney Day for believe a um, So it'll be nice to read those. And then I think I'm actually going to watch some Chicago Fire, Chicago PD and Chicago Med. So I don't know if I'll get a Disney film in, but I might do a little bit later. Maybe I might watch uh, Somebody the Pooh or Beauty and the Beast. Maybe even Christopher Robin. I really like the new latest Winnie the Pooh, which is Christopher Robin. Um, so I might do that. I wanted to show you my gift today off the kids. I say the kids, Matt and Tara, my brother and my sister-in-law. Um, so this is obviously like a little plaque that says, Be beautiful, which I thought was really, really cute. So yeah, very, very nice. Yesterday I got uh, 30th confetti, pink and silver. Uh, yeah, pink and silver, which will go nicely for my birthday. I can put it on the table for my birthday where the food's going to be. And then I also wanted to show you, I bought some books secondhand off my friend Tilly um, and she sent them through to me now and she sent me like an extra little thing as well. So I wanted to show you uh, what I got and then the extra little bit that she sent me. So I bought The Siren by... Kira Cass, which I'm really excited about reading. Uh, I've heard good things about this. I actually believe that this is around about a middle grade. In fact, it's by Harper Teen. So yeah, it's like a middle grade. So I could have, I could be reading this for Believeathon. Maybe I might pick it up. 
um i think i can get the audio for it which is cool but i just think that the cover is gorgeous so i just really really wanted it and she was selling it for a really good deal so i thought why not so she sent me this one which i'm excited about and then she's sent me a little bookmark as well that is advertising bkmrk i don't know what that is uh it's from hatchet hatchy children's group um and on the back it is advertising rose interrupted by patrice lawrence so yep that's the bookmark she sent me which is nice always down for extra bookmarks a little sticky note to uh say um that she hopes i like everything and then she also i also got war girls by tochi onyebuhi i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce that but how gorgeous is this cover for real it is stunning i love the color of it it's gorgeous i believe post-apocalyptic nigeria played by violence and political unrest two sisters dream of peace hope and a future together they're willing to fight an entire war to get there it sounds insane like re like good insane like amazing and i've heard really good things about it as well so i'm really looking forward to this i just think the cover is absolutely stunning um so yeah very very excited about that one actually and then i also got a funko pop from her i got the um was this the illumicrate one um funko pop of mia carvera which is really really cool do you know what she's really heavy though her head is so heavy <laughs> um also she doesn't stand up one thing i will say obviously that is nothing at all to do with tilly my friend but uh to do with illumicrate i'm assuming who have um had these custom made i'm not sure i don't know how it works but they don't stand up which is a little bit irritating i've got a few that do that i think my anna from frozen doesn't stand up i have to blue tack her feet to my unit which is irritating <laughs> uh so yeah i don't know if it's to do with the fact that her head's too heavy or what but she doesn't stand up so i'm gonna either have to lean her against a book or blue tack her feet to my unit like i do with anna but um yeah we'll see but then the extra that she sent me was a necklace which i'm i don't know if this came in an loon in the illumicrate with mia or not but um it says corvera on the bottom and uh it looks like this so yeah i don't know where this has come from but this is extra that she sent me she's so so sweet um so thank you so much tilly if you're watching this i really appreciate it i am going to message you now actually and uh just let you know that everything got here and say thank you very much uh but yeah it was nice to i love to um sell my books on and i love for other bookish people to buy them because i know they're going to a good home so yeah really happy love that she's uh sold those and allowed me to buy them off her that's so so sweet of her so yeah gonna do a bit of reading now it's not too late i don't think um 20 past five so i'm gonna do a bit of reading and then i'll watch some tv i think that's what i'm gonna do because i've got a headache so if i do my reading first watch some tv and then i get to a point where i need to go to bed at least i've done some reading because i've done nothing today i'm no further on with wondersmith and i've not read anything else so that's where we're up to with that so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i could do with washing my hair really i've got therapy tomorrow morning so it'd be nice to go to my therapist without greasy hair you know um with some nice fresh hair uh so we'll see if i get a chance to do that or not or whether i do it tomorrow after i've been to therapy we'll see um so yeah i need to get some food as well so that's my plan so i shall uh check back in with you later or something i'll see you soon bye for now <laughs> team i hope you're all well today's thursday i have just recorded my buzzword a thon tbr so i need to go and edit that once i've finished here i could do with editing my weekend my reading vlog for last week as well because i've not done it yet and it could do with going up today um busy busy bee so yeah those are my plans for today on top of some reading. I really like to do some reading today. Um, but let's open this gift, day 10 gift. Um, I did accidentally rip it the other day. 
while trying to get another gift out um but it looks like i've got some harry potter socks yay i love harry potter my sister-in-law and brother know i love harry potter so the top ones say X Expelliarmus, the middle ones say Expecto Patronum and the bottom ones say Petrificus Totalus. Cute. There we go. Aren't they pretty? Very cute. I don't know. Oh, Primark is where they're from, which is great. Um, so yeah, very excited. Thanks to the kids for those. I love them. Um, these gifts are just really, really sweet, honestly. They're the sweetest humans I, I've ever known. So... The reading plan for today is I would really like to pick up Wizards of Once actually because I have the second one, um, Twice Magic or something like that on audio from the library. So this one, unfortunately, somebody's already got it out so I can't get the audio for this on from the library but I've got the second one and I've had it for a while now so I'd really like to listen to that. Um, if I could read this this week, I could listen to that next week during Buzzwordathon. I haven't just put it. I haven't put that on my TBR just in case I don't get through this because I didn't want to do that. But if I can, then that's great. Uh, but yeah, I'd really like to pick this up today. Really, it should be an easy read if I'm don't faff about too much and don't get distracted because there's a lot of illustrations in this. So that would be great if i could get through this um so i'd really like to pick that up i still haven't picked curse so dark and lonely up yet again this week so i'm still on page 25 i'd like to pick some more of this up the only thing is once i start reading this i just want to binge it so i don't know whether to just leave it until a time where i can binge it i'm not sure um so i might pick that up i don't know but then i'd really like to pick up the christmas saurus by tom fletcher i know i'm supposed to be really reading this leaving this until the weekend for um magic of christmas but i am not around a lot on the weekend um i think i mentioned this the other day so i'm out tomorrow night so i'm out tonight at the cinemas then i'm staying at my parents then i'm at my parents all day tomorrow then i'm out tomorrow night i'm staying at my friends tomorrow night then on saturday i need to come home shower change then i'm out at my friend's birthday party saturday night staying at my parents so that's the third night that i won't be staying at home and then sunday obviously i'm going to be extremely hungover and un well not unfortunately at all by any means but it just means i'm not going to get any time at home on sunday because i'm having tea at my parents on sunday so it's pointless becoming home to go back to my parents again my nan's coming around for tea so it makes more sense to just stay at my parents uh the only advantage is i do sort of have a room at my parents so i could just kind of hide in my room for the day and read but i just feel like it's really a little bit rude <laughs> so i don't know i will take books with me to my parents on sunday um but I have The Girl Who Speaks Bear that I can read on the weekend for Magic of Christmas because that is actually my festival, my seasonal read. And I've also got Frost Heart as well. But it'd be nice to sort of start this so that maybe I could finish it on the weekend um, and just get through it that way. Again, there are illustrations in this. It looks so, so cute. I'm really excited about picking this up so cute i can't wait um so yeah those are my reading plans today i think i really want to just read but i know what i should do is do um some editing my battery's about to die for fuck's sake some editing i think i might read for a bit then edit and then read for a bit more before i go out tonight i think that's what i might do but yeah i'm gonna go now because my camera's about to die but i will check back in with you again soon and let you know how i've got on bye for now thanks very much thank you very much I'm loving it, 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 i am loving it 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 i am loving absolutely gorgeous i'm obsessed with it it's going to be a while before you see the unboxing for that because i'm going to do it in vlogmas but it was so so beautiful gorgeous gorgeous unboxing love it so um i just wanted to update you yesterday i started listening to wizards of once um on audio and i am currently on page 212 i think i'm probably maybe halfway through uh no 
just under. Um, it's going really well. David Tennant does the audio for this and he's fantastic, very, very good. Uh, really enjoy it. We're following um, a young wizard called Zar and we are following a young warrior called Wish. And these two have been brought up to hate each other, essentially. They're, they're kind. And they are learning some very hard lessons. Zar is very much, a, well, not spoiled, but the world revolves around me kind of guy. And yeah, he's, uh, I don't actually know, I was going to tell you about what I've read up to so far but that would spoil it so it's going well so far i'm following along with the with the book as much as i can but i'm listening to it while i am pottering around and doing bits so uh but i'd like to follow with the book where i can because there are obviously illustrations in this really really cute really enjoying it so far i would like to finish this actually this weekend because um next week is buzzwordathon and i do have the audiobook for the second in this and it would work for buzzwordathon so it wasn't on my tbr but i didn't know i was going to get through if i was going to get through this or not so we'll see haven't gotten any further with the curse so dark and lonely but i do plan to this weekend yesterday's present was from my brother and sister-in-law a pen so which come in which has come in this gorgeous gorgeous box and it's such a beautiful pen very very pretty um oh my god i've only just realized it says sister on it as well can you see that how pretty is that rose gold pen absolutely stunning so very very nice present off them i love it i'm gonna cherish it my brother straight away just started clicking the pen and faffing about with it because he forgot he's a man so um, he's forgotten exactly what was in my presence. <laughs> um, so day 12, let's open this bad boy. I don't know what's going to be in here. Um, and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm really freaking tired. Ooh, Marowans. I love Marowans. We've got uh, Mao Mix. Nice. I'll dive into some of them later. Oh, they're so cute. So, yeah, very happy with my gifts still coming on at the moment i am gonna go and get in bed i'm really freaking hungover um i'm not actually i'm not too bad i'm just really really tired so i'm gonna go and have a nap and then uh have a shower and essentially start my day i need to get ready again later i'm going out it's my friend's 30th so i'm going out for that and yeah i'll need to get some food as well could do with doing some reading at some point but i don't know i might just go downstairs and watch some tv after i've had a shower later after my nap so that's my plan that's what i'm gonna go do and i shall check back in with you either later or tomorrow bye for now mm -hmm. you're all well today is monday i apologize for the lack of vlogging on the weekend i was out all weekend um one of my friend's birthdays i was out for on friday and then i was at another friend's birthday party on saturday so the weekend was spent drinking sleeping and being hungover <laughs> so um i didn't get any reading done apart from a little bit last night and i didn't vlog anything so yay for me um i just wanted to wrap up this vlog here and tell you what i did get up to last week um so finishing wise books that i finished last week so i finished four books last week and got part way through three more uh the books that i finished last week were the best bear in all the world by um paul bright brian sibley jean willis and kate saunders this is a collection of four stories of winnie the pooh uh, inspired by a.a milne and e h shepherd so this is like 90 years since winnie the pooh first came about by a. a Milne and it was really really cute I really enjoyed it and I gave this one five out of five stars it really really love Winnie the Pooh I'm obsessed if you couldn't tell um so yeah finished that one then I read The Little Mermaid uh this was really really cute I absolutely adore these books they're so so gorgeous the illustrations are beautiful and they're such easy quick reads as well I read this for uh the Disney prompt Disney Day prompt for Olivathon. Oh, by the way, this one counts for Childhood Classic. 
Um, so yeah, I read this one and I gave this four out of five stars. It was really, really good. I also read in the same collection Aladdin and I gave this four out of five stars as well. Also stunning illustrations. And I also read Frozen, which I gave five, four stars as well. So um, again, same collection. Very, very gorgeous books. Really enjoyed these. And I also watched Frozen as well. So that was cool because I haven't seen that in a while. Um, then I also started A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I haven't got any further on with this than I already was when I last updated you on it. So I'm on page 25. This is a reread for me and I'm really, really excited about it because I love this book. This is probably, I think... I will be as bold to say that this is probably my favourite book of the year. So I really, really loved it. Um, so I'm glad to be rereading that. I've also started Wizards of Once, um, which I'm listening to on audio. I'm a little bit further on than where I am here now, but I don't know how far. So um, I'm on 2.12. That was the last time I stuck my bookmark in, but I've listened to a bit more this morning. So um, I'm not sure. I might be on my next chapter. I don't know. But I'm partway through the, this. I'm really enjoying the audio for it. David Tennant is doing the audio. So it's really, really good. Following a wizard and a warrior who have been brought up to hate each other. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. And it's really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. Very, very good indeed. Um, this actually doesn't fit a prompt for anything. Well, it will do, but I've not it. I've not budgeted it in budgeted it in Believeathon. I'm just reading it because I've got the audio for the second one from my library, and I want to take advantage of that. So, um, but if I finish this this week, it would actually count for Buzzwordathon because it's got the word once in it, and similarly for the second book as well. So, we'll see how that goes. But we'll. I'm going to carry on with that this week, and then I also started the Christmas Saurus. I started this on Friday. Uh, no, I didn't. I started this yesterday um, on Sunday and I continue to read it into the early hours of this morning a little bit because uh, my hangover kicked in. I couldn't have a nap yesterday because I was at my parents all day and my nan came out for tea. And then I got home at like half six and I felt horrific. Got in bed. I was just going to read for a couple of hours and then get an, an early night, but I was nodding off. So I went to sleep about seven, woke up about 11, did some tidying up, got back in bed couldn't nod off so I picked up this book and continued reading for a little bit and then went back to well tried to go back to sleep so I'm on page 52 I'm not too far in but I'm really enjoying it so far this is really really cute it's by Tom Fletcher and obviously it's about a Christmas dinosaur so um I'm really really enjoying it so far the illustrations are gorgeous so so cute and there's a couple cute little um quotes in here as well and I'm just really really enjoying it Tom's writing style is so cool and I can just imagine as a kid your parents reading this to you and being like so excited about the adventure so yeah really really enjoying this so far I think it's gonna be really cute this I am reading for the prompt of a seasonal read so I should have really I wanted to read this this weekend but obviously I just have not had any time at all uh, because it was the uh, magic of Christmas weekend this weekend for well, we can just go for believe them. So yeah, that's where I'm up to, and that is my wrap up. So I finished four books, started another three, um, but yes, that is everything. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like down below if you have, and if you haven't already, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Also, I'm sorry I look like shit because um, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. I am hinching the house with my sister-in-law, so. Um, I look like death because I've been up since it's now almost 11 I've been up since eight o'clock running around hinching the house so I've given my bedroom a bit of a makeover it's got new bedding new pillows etc so we're going for mustard and gray this time rather than gray and pink obviously I'm obsessed with gray you can see from my wallpaper um and I've just given it a massive clean in here I need to just go into my spare room slash office and just do that before my sister-in-law comes around and then we're just going to do an intense hinge so that's why I look like death um so yeah I shall see you in the next one bye for now